Hello, good people. It's hey, your yeah. man, uh, the Marcus Harvey, hey, and my girl. lovely homeboy, homegirl, house I, I love when you acknowledge my, See, both sides. Both sides. I get both it's sides. It's your girl, time. T. Sanders, and welcome back to Skit Gods. Skit Gods. That's a t-shirt. You always hitting them so notes. Skit. Skit Gods. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Got name right. You got name right. So you know what we do here. We bring viral sensations yes. to come and speak their story, their journey. We give them their flowers here as Kid Guys. Also a comedy hype right now before we get into everything. Let me tell you why I'm so nice today. <laughs> That's why he hit that note. Ha ha. Him. 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 Ha ha. Him. Organic tea. You already know. I'm telling y'all, y'all going to have to pay me a lot to do that next time. But today... It's free because it tastes good. Appreciate you. Ha ha. Empty. Go to the dot com, please. Now, you know how we do it. We always got to bring heavy hitters. This is heavy. our first season. I'm extremely proud yeah. of who we got today. Three yeah. weeks off of not working out. And <laughs> he may be doing something to my lady parts. I'm not quite sure. That's up We're going to talk about that. that I don't know. She on. has not purred in a while, but she's giving a little. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> without further ado, let's work. introduce. <laughs> <laughs> that aggressive? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 it's not like mom. Oh, you know what okay, I mean? Gotcha, gotcha. Yo, give it up for Mike Bless, y'all. Mike, Mike Bless, 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 Mike, 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 what's that? Oh, I, I can't. Icy. Are you? Look. Oh, my. Uh, what's happening? What is happening in here? What is happening? Mind your business. Okay, oh thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for coming to Skit Guys. You know we had to have you in there because yes. you are a Skit Guy. C-Sharp. Yeah. And so we're going to be asking you some questions. We want to get to know you definitely. from the core. Yeah, okay? Man, definitely. Hey, man, listen. Appreciate you having me, first of all. Mike, yeah. man, we've been watching He didn't even know he was coming. Bro. We he just came for chicken. He it's came crazy. for chicken, y'all. It's so crazy. <laughs> he was like, oh, what we doing here? I was like, That's how we booked him. That, we you said, I heard free chicken. So. <laughs> the deposit is the is the, the legs, and then the end is okay. the the back end is the wings. Okay, okay. Gotcha. and so lady, he might get shows. breast. Okay, got gotcha. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, man, so tell us about yourself, man. You from Florida, right? You a Florida, you a Florida man? Uh, I'm from Akron, Ohio, but oh, word, oh, H. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, my bad. That's my bad. That's no, no, no. But but Florida, my I mean, that's, that's my second got. home. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's like Ohio raised, Florida made, man. So. Accurate, man. Ohio raised Florida man. I don't like that. You was in the sports? Yeah, I, I, I did. I mean, I got cut. What did you get? Be cut? honest. Uh, when I got traded in Pee Wee football. Now, I did do me. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. Hold on a second. Jesus. Stop it. Let me Stop. Where's the camera? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> How are you getting <laughs> traded in Pee Wee football? Because the coach wanted to hit my mama. He wanted to, he, he okay. Wanted to hit Okay, that mama. makes okay. sense. So he didn't want to just cut me. You know okay. what I'm saying? My mama's fine. Okay. Hey, mama, fine. Recipe, mama, love you. Oh, recipe, mama. She was, she was fine. She, she was still fine, fine with the Lord. Yeah. Right okay. Right. But my mom was fine, and they went, tried to hop. So they didn't want to cut me because she paid twenty dollars already. Mm. So they sent me to another to another team that was it was in the hood. So you hadn't hit your growth spurt yet. Nah. Okay, so you was really a pee wee. I was a pee wee for real. Okay. Okay. Well, no, that's a good trade though. I mean, from the from the coach's perspective. If you really want to get, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, if my mama. I don't know what's happening, but, but hey, I was a kid. I don't hey, never know. He, he'd be all right. Go ahead over there, Mike. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, like Trey right there. Hey, my boy. Hey, next year, you got it. You gonna be strong for us next year, <laughs> Lonnie? You got him. You got him, Lonnie. <laughs> man, so like, bro, like, how'd you even get into the acting, man? Like the entertain. Not even the acting, bro. You are an entertainer, man. Like, you mm. do multiple things, like, hyphenated, bro. Like, yeah. how'd you get into all of this? Like, where did it really, like, the bug bite you? Man, since I was a little boy, I just wanted to just be an entertainer. I was always, you know, singing with the with the aloe vera bottle. Okay. Um, so I was a singer. You sing? Yeah. Started off producer, singing. Yeah, producer, singer. I was signed with uh, Slip and Slide, EMI, Atlantic. Okay. Back in the day. I did it for, like, 16 years. But I did it for a long time, and you know, a lot of people think that I'm, I'm overnight in the film industry. Uh -huh. But I think those 16 to 18 years of that, you know, yeah, not getting paid, just right. So you were paying your dues for 16 to 18 years in the music business. Because mm -hmm, they weren't paying me. They weren't paying. Me. Who was they paying? Dude, I was just paying. <laughs> I was just paying the dues. <laughs> you paying the dues? Sweat. Who paying you? Sweat sweat equity. equity. <laughs> so, so then you transfer. Like, how do you get from? singing to like, you know, well, let me see about this acting. Like, does somebody, like a mentor or somebody like pull you to the side? Like, you should be You know what's actor. crazy? So when I got signed Slip and Slide, Flo Rider, hopefully mm -hmm. he see this. That's my guy. Uh, he, he paid now. 
Flow Rod paid now. <laughs> he was paid back then. But he, you saw that little check check he got though. Oh, he paid. Oh, yeah. He paid. Oh, paid oh, now. oh did he Flo, win? Flow. He won? I need to text him. Sip, seven, five, something like that. Ooh, I, I don't know you about bro. We ain't in your business or nothing. But, but you borrow a little I'm bit. I'm going to text you, brother. <laughs> I'm about to give you a real shout out. I want some money for this. <laughs> no, nah, but no, nah, but Flow, that was my guy. But, but back then, like, when I signed a slip and slide, I didn't realize it, but Atlantic, like Mike Cannon and all them, they were trying to get me to be the next Flow Rider. Gotcha. Cause I, you know, I had some size Bill, mm -hmm. and I could sing. It was melodic, but I was doing like street stuff when they came and got me like, no, don't do that, do this. So I did this song. I regret it to this day. Um, and Flo was like, man, who's the dude trying to be like me? You know what I'm saying? But then we ended up meeting on a movie set mm -hmm. because I was doing the, the soundtrack for this film called um, Magic City that was on BET. Oh yeah. Produced by Malcolm Jones. And when he was in the studio, I was picking the songs out. He was staring at me from. The, in my periphery, I'm like, why is this dude staring at me? You know, like, bro, I mean, yeah, kind of hard. I'm like, there's yeah. a screen right there, bro. <laughs> hey, check your eyes, but, uh, Check your eyes, brother. <laughs> Could you imagine Flo right up the... <laughs> no, not Flo. <laughs> not Flo. With the other... Oh, yeah, like, yeah. oh, that's up. I'm, like, I'm like, why is he staring at me? But he, but basically, he was like, yo, he was like, man, bro, I can't get out of my head. You, this character, I want you to, can you act? I was like, I can try, you know, so mm -hmm. I can. But see, when music, when you write music, like a real writer, mm -hmm. we write it here. So my memorization was crazy. So when I came to, I didn't know what the audition was. I didn't know what no size was. They emailed me the size. I didn't know what it was. You thought that was just a I just side did. dishes. Like, I was like, like oh, this is nice. Okay, for a little And I order. came to set, and they like me for the audition. And they was like, are you ready? I was like, ready for what? You, have, you didn't memorize? I was like, nah. So they gave it to me. And in 15 minutes, I memorized it. And I did it. And they got the role. Word. And wow. that was my first time ever being in the film. And so it was. first audition, first book. Mm -hmm. Dang. And it was just, I fell in love with it. But then what happened was, um, that's when me and Flo got, you know, we was cool. Uh, he gave me his number, we text one time. And then I stopped doing it. And then a year later, maybe a year, I think it was like a year or so later, I was, I got a text, a random text from Flo Rider. Out of the blue, he said, he said, what's up, bro, where you at? And I was like, this is random. I was like, I'm in, uh, I'm in Florida, where you at? He said, I'm in LA, where you supposed to be at? He said, man, you supposed to be an actor, man. Wow. Yep. So then I went to uh, just a random, random text message. Like me and him wasn't. I ain't gonna say it, but it was like it was yeah. like cool, it was, but it was a random text. Like what were you actively doing at that moment? Uh, I think I was back selling drugs at that point. Okay. okay well, we love <laughs> we love get that here. You got, hey, you got to yeah. get to it, baby. Because the music was, you know, yeah, 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 absolutely. I, was back I didn't know we dope. was there in the first place. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know oh, we got to go back now. You back, you back. <laughs> We're gonna have to backtrack on that. There's your limitation. I'm good now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're in the journey, man. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Talk your stuff. Right now, mm -hmm. who's like, you know what, man? Mike got the chain too. I'm gonna get the chain. So I'm gonna I got it the right way. This is the, yeah. the chain I had back in the day. Y'all can see my. It's on. It's on Google. When I had the big circle chain, I got the money holding up on it. Yeah, that was. Oh, you wanted them. Yeah, I wanted them. I ratchet. What, what, oh, I mean, what part of Florida were you in? I was in Miami. Oh, okay, you wanted them. No, you would have. You would have drew like drew some locks out, but you. Was but like, I didn't want to have it way back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it would have been Stevie on that. I, 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 I'm looking like young. Floyd Daddy. It's, it's all right. So what? What? Let, let's let's back up then. Right let's here. back up. <laughs> so did you have a rough upbringing? Oh yeah, definitely. Are you? Do you have any siblings? I got a sister, yeah. I yeah, one sister. sister. Yeah, one sister. So you was it a single mom? Yeah, my mom was a my mom was a gangster. So my mama's side from Detroit, like my uncle, he was on America's Most Wanted. He was top fifty, the top fifty most wanted uh, fugitives, FBI. Remember America's Most Wanted yeah. that show? Oh yeah. Yeah, and my so, so my mama's side was like yeah, that's the, they was like some real live, real guys. So like, he's some technically. Some of my teaching me was like. If I told y'all something, y'all be like, your mama told you that? Like, I would go to school with different type of men. I was like, I was going to prison to go to school. I had salt and pepper in my pocket in case somebody tried me, hit him in the eye. You know, no, absolutely. Crazy. I mean, but that's ready, but that's, that's ready, yeah. day one hood stuff right hood, there. So yeah. your mama's supposed to be teaching you that. Big ups mm -hmm. to the mama's. My mom was a gangster, but she did. But then she ended up later on, she got saved and she became a pastor. She won them. Oh, so Christians. she really? she went from like, like killing them. Literally. To baptize him. Like, yeah. Robo Kanda shot him. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that, like. My mom killed somebody before. My mom. Well, or she got a box. Oh, we can talk yeah, about it now. Yeah, my bad. It's all is, good. is that too? She was like, hey, now, put my bitch oh, out there. Now, yeah. Yeah. You my bad. I talked to you better than that. Allegedly. 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 You don't really not. know if that happened. But no, no like, mom, what kind of, like, what, what kind of things was... does she teach you like that? It's like, a, on that type of, like, mentality, like. Man. Everybody trying to kill you. 
Uh, That's aggressive. It's very aggressive. <laughs> How would you eat at this point? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but but it was always like strike first. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, sure. you know, most kids like if he hits you, you hit him back. My mom would teach me that. She taught the first person to hit could be the last hit. Mm -hmm. So I was going around hitting people now, but you know, but she, my mom was a great woman. I always yeah, she was no, a terrible real. person. I, she she just was. It just was the circumstances that we was in. You know absolutely. What I'm so where we lived, you know, just was that. To yeah. survive, you know what I'm saying? But I, I think it built character. But I'm going to say this. Gangsters are funny. They are. Absolutely. Like the most gangster people in the world. Like we watch movies and they walk around looking all tough. Like, no, my uncle, they was like the funniest people in the world was my uncles. Mm -hmm. They were some dangerous people. Oh, yeah. You know They'll kill you. They'll kill you. All right. But uh -huh. around us, it was like Just yeah, we them. laugh, we joke. Mm -hmm. You know, I couldn't imagine some of the stuff I heard, you know, I, when, as I got older. Like, damn, I don't did that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, not bad people, just circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but uh, it paid off. Yeah. Cause it got you, like you said. Now you in the strike first type of like mentality. Mm -hmm. Like, so you go from now you starting to act a little bit. You know, on your you in L.A. Mm -hmm. Like, when's it start? Like, really start picking up and like, you know what? I can make a real living out here, man. Honestly, bro, I make I make so, and I'm I'm blessed. I'm like, I'm not gonna say like, I'm like just. I don't think I'm like this. I didn't do like theater. Yeah. It's kind of mm -hmm. unfair. You know what I'm saying? A lot of actors don't like me because they feel like it's like a comedy. Yeah. Like if somebody doesn't do stand up. Yeah. And then they on, you know, now they Wayne, got they filling out all the time. Yeah, right? absolutely. You know, did, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like I didn't do a lot of what the actors did, but once I got an agent, I, I trained for like three months. I got an agent. My first week auditioning, I got a role, and I I just didn't look back. Mm -hmm. So, but I got like I gotta say like the, like God gonna pay you for the the, the, the the stuff you did in the past. Yeah. So I think like being homeless and the whole, like chasing that dream of music, mm -hmm. you know, it just it happened like this. So it looked like it's overnight, but you know, you paid your dues in an old paid my dues another way, and I got it came. It, it seemed like to people it came fast. Mm -hmm. I just think I just got lucky, but I'm like I, I did in a way, but I paid my dues. So it happened fast for me. So yeah, when you best. let's uh take a take a look into that because you said being homeless was that during the music time like that was, how yep. that happened my mom so I was in the street and uh this old guy used to wash my car he had did like thirty or twenty some years of prison but he used to be the man mm -hmm. he used to always come ah oh, you know I'm back and I'm like man just wash my car you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I found out he really was the he, he was like the, Franklin Saint he was a heroin heroin right but he he was he had nothing. So he used to always say, man, if I could do anything, man, when I was in the streets, I would take the money and put, and just put it, invest it in my dream. Because before I had street money, I always was like, man, if I had 10000 yeah. I would do this. Yeah, yeah, But once yeah. you start getting money, now you buy jewelry, you buy a car, you're doing stupid stuff, you know, you're going out. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to try that. So I started investing in my music. And what I would do, I would go to the club, and the, let's say Jeezy was there, or Boosie, or whoever. I would ask the club owner, how many bottles they get? They like, he getting 10. All right, bring me 15. And when they get their 10, bring me 15. Let me do my song for my section with my people. And that's how I got hot. So Slip and Slide tried to sign me. But at the time, I was, you know, I had so much street money. I was like, I, I wanted to get paid what I thought I deserved as the street guy. Yeah. I didn't understand, like, y'all making me $10,000 to sign with y'all. Right. That ain't Hell no, nah, I got yeah. this. But they like, <laughs> they like. That's a half an afternoon. Yeah, they're like, but that's not from this. Right. So I said, no. But then when my mom transitioned, you know, she had cancer and she transitioned. What happened was, I ain't know about depression. I ain't know about yeah. all that stuff. And I didn't know what's happening, but I just gave up on life. Yeah. Like I, so before I knew it, you know, I lost everything. It just happened. Right. It was like, damn. And then uh, when I went to my, my uncle, he when he transitioned, I went to the funeral. And the pastor said, he was like, life, he said, death is a misunderstood reality. And when he said it, it was like, I came back to like life. Like, mm -hmm. oh, damn. It's Let's not see. personal. Right. Like, it just happened. I was yeah. mad at God. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Hey, you know what? It ain't personal that I got back. In. So then what I did was, I kind of catfish slip and slide, because they didn't know I had nothing. They thought they finna sign this dope boy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm gonna sign with y'all, man. I got one sock on. They don't know. And Ted, and Ted he, if he watches, he remember this. They said, like, all right, baby, we're gonna sign you. So they signed me, and I drove down. I got a ride down to, um, to Miami, and when I got there, I showed them all my bags to the studio. I'm like, I ain't got nowhere to live, man. But I was signed to them. Tell like, 
Like what happened to the right? Man, right, the right. man so. Like but they took me in. They took me in. I stayed with, with Julian Booth, who, who was the vice president. Shout out to Ju. He, matter of fact, he um, on Love and Hip Hop Miami, I think. He's the one, I don't really watch it, but him and, he's the man that's Trina on the okay. show. Yeah, he, yeah. He was the vice president. So I stayed with him and his son in Opelaka. Oh, that's And cool. I would just go to the studio every day, just make music and make music and make music. Um, but uh, that's how, what, I forgot where we're going with this. No, no, that, 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 that's pretty much it. So I did, I did want to ask this, though. Like, you saying, like, <laughs> we got deep, right? <laughs> we started talking about the money as far as, like, you know, slip and slide trying to give you 10 racks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, what was you making a day on the street? I know you said that statue. So, like, what was you making on, a day on the street? Uh, Like, four, I bought, like, 40,000 a week, something like that. Word. Mm -hmm. Okay. 40,000 a week. Yeah, he was so out there. getting that money. No, yeah. If you go to Florida, like, people my age, they know Mike Bless. Like, anywhere in Florida. Like, from Miami. To Pensacola, Mobile. Like when I've been on Road Wayne and we go to these places, he like, they know you. I like, well, I was I was out here. I was him. Yeah. Dang. I'm not proud of it, but So like what were some of the craziest things that were happening back then? Cause like, you know, those kind of things push you to now where you're like, you I see even in the skits, you kind of lean on that a lot. Mm -hmm. And like that's what makes you so authentic. Mm -hmm. Because you like you have those life experiences. Like, so what were some of like the craziest things that you were seeing back then? That made you say like I need to get out this life. Man, every day like people, the people didn't know, but that was like the most unhappy I was. Like I had the money, and you know you hear stories about like billionaires jumping off roofs, and people yeah. like yeah. when you don't have money, you like man, that's crazy. I would, but 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 that money, it really don't make you happy. Right. Like you know what I'm saying when you thinking about um, like every single day, I'm thinking about you know the feds coming to kick my door in or. You know what I'm saying? One of my partners trying to kill me or like every, like it, it, you can't have a genuine interaction with somebody. Like I'm on the phone, let's say we just on the phone or you here and I might be high. You might, you might look at me like this. And that, that one look like, oh, what's that? Yeah, what you, yeah, what yeah, you, yeah. yeah. What yeah. What he got going on, man. Hey, bro, you said, I bro, look at me. That's not a happy life. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just was like, in my house, I would have, I would have my, I would have my, you know, have my pistol. I'll be in the bathroom with my pistol right here on the, just, not, not on the shitter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it, <laughs> you gonna get me caught hey. it, it, You know, so it was, a, I was very, very, very unhappy. But people didn't know that because when you see me at the club back then, I don't yeah. go to the club no more, but back then right. you see me in the club, they're like, man, am I doing it? But they didn't know me. I was so unhappy. I would pray every day to God. Like, I'm rousing this Rolls Royce. I, I posted a picture, on, a video on Instagram recently. I was with, it's from back then. Mm -hmm. That I remember that day, like it was yesterday, I was in the, I was in the Rolls Royce. And people was taking pictures of the car, and I was like just crying, bro, on the inside. Like, man, like God, please, man. I, I now one thing about me, I ain't finna be broke. Mm -hmm. yeah. And God know that. God know my heart. So, but yeah. I'm like, God, please give me something else. Give me something else to feel. Yeah, something else is, you know, that's legal. Yeah, right. that's real. So, man. speaking of legal. Let's fast forward to right now where mm -hmm. you're doing amazing things. Are you in a happier place? Of course, I'm oh, sure, man, right? I'm so happy, man. I'm so grateful to my ancestors, to God. Uh, I can be, because even back then, like, you know, when you when you in that world, you can't be, I'm a goof, I'm goofy. Okay. That's who I am. I'm right. silly, I'm goofy, I like to laugh and joke. So it's like, this world is therapeutic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I don't know, if I don't, I'm not really a comedian. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm successful in the in the in the comedic. You comedic brand. actor. I'm a comedic actor. Right. I won't disrespect comedians. I'm a comedian because I don't do yeah. right. things like that. But just being in that world of people who taking pain and we can laugh about it yeah. and joke about it and you know what I'm saying? Like I don't have to be tough. Yeah. And I don't gotta try to look tough. Feel good, don't it? Feel good. <laughs> For real. I could I could be vulnerable. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like like. You know, I wear some, if I got some dirty pants from yesterday, that's all right. We can laugh about it. <laughs> I'm even vulnerable drinking this ha-ha tea.com. Go into those oh, yeah. and go get you some, guys. It's great. So do you remember the feeling when you uh, first went viral? I remember. The first time I went viral, uh, I don't remember the first time, but I remember the, I remember the time. <laughs> oh, that's a flex. <laughs> Drop it. I don't remember. <laughs> That's a time. flex. No, seriously. No, we got we got little flex bombs time. here. As, as get, no, uh, so that was a flex. I don't remember my first time being viral. No, but one <laughs> never. You don't know. You don't know. Exactly. I, I, I remember, remember mine. What's viral? What's, okay. <laughs> now you now we gotta find what viral is. Okay. What's viral? Because to viral to me is more. No, that's not a hundred thousand. Uh, you're talking about what I do with Wayne. You go say is it, is it subjective? What no, is no, it's not subjective. It's when it's when your video goes up, right? Over a million. Over a million. I would even say 
your first one, mm-hmm. about 500 up, 500,000 500, up. Hmm. I don't remember. That's fine. What? <laughs> I do remember the one, I remember the video when I felt like, I was like, yo, I'm really, because when I met Wayne, Wayne was like, when I was around him, he kept like, nobody else thought it was funny. Like, this, I don't like, even know how, how did that even come about? Like, how did you and Wayne meet first off? Like, okay, so that's, that's the funny story. So as an actor, they're like, you're an actor. You don't do skits. You don't do, yeah, yeah. you know, so I was like, all right, cool. But I'm always, I'm hard headed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm an actor, but I was like, that look kind of fun. You know, they're like, no, we don't, we don't do that. We're yeah. actors. I'm like, I didn't do theater. Right. So yeah, I'm right. Just, I'm, they didn't I, even do what you did to get here. I'm trying that. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. So I, so they called me. I did I did one skit. Where, they called you or you called them? Like, they called me. Uh, Chase. Chase Walker called me. Okay. So wait, how did they even find you? Like, just Oh, you know how they, because I did, okay, so during, during COVID, I made, I did my own skits at the house. I was okay. my own. I played 14 characters. Word. It was called Six Months Later. On YouTube, it's Mike Bliss TV. What was it about? See, six months later. What was it about though? It was about COVID. These guys was like, "Yo, man, when I started acting, some street dudes was like, we'll invest in it. You know what I'm saying? You, we'll do a movie about you playing all the characters. Like, characters are best. I bought all these wigs and all these different things and made characters, and they never did it. So I had this little bag just full of stuff. And then when COVID happened, we got stuck in the house. Mm-hmm. I just made the characters and started writing and just did my own series. I did like ten episodes. Word. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, edited them everything yourself. Edited everything. I went on YouTube, learned how to edit, um, learn how to learn how to score. As the, as the episodes went on, you could see the the growth. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I did the whole time, and the time flew by for me because I was just me and I ain't had a dog or nothing. So I ain't have a dog. Just I didn't have a dog, bro. I was going crazy. Would you even imagine a dog? Like, rrr, rrr. Sit, boo boo. <laughs> I played the dog in the skit. Not a star. He played the he played his own dog. Sit, boy. <laughs> But no, so that's how Chase found me. Okay. And then I did one skit with them. And of course, my coach was like, you don't do that, you know? I was like, yeah, all right. There's a director who saw me on uh, American Soul. He's like, yo, I seen you on American Soul. He got, he got to me through this casting where he said, I got, these, I got some movies coming up. I got some deals. I'm about to walk you in the room. Mm-hmm. So he tried. He was like, you know, I got this guy that Mike, I want to use him. You know, the Hollywood way. Yeah. But what happened is the game started changing. Because social media has changed. The whole Hollywood does not have control over who's famous, Correct. who do people want. So Hollywood, is, it's a business. So it's like, if I got to take this right here and and I, and I have a show, no matter what people say about this particular kid, if it, let's just say Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. No matter what people say about him, I'm going to get my money back. Right. It's Put the him, investment. It's the investment. So that's what happened. So mm-hmm. now a lot of social media people start taking all the roles, having a blue check, all that stuff yeah, started absolutely. to matter. And he told me like, bro, Russ Parr, shout out to Russ, my man. Okay. Russ was like, Mike, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. You gotta get into the social media thing. And when Chase called me the second time, I had said, no, I wasn't gonna do the skits. I called him back. I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it. So I came and my thought process was, I'm gonna come, you know, about 10 skits, get my followers up and then go back to my acting. Mm -hmm. But. You started off as Blake's daddy, right? I was Blake's daddy. I took Jordan's job. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan got two hundred and fifty egg jobs. Yeah, anyway. I so took that job. It's not like he can't afford to give off one. <laughs> no, he, Jordan got that money. Big ups to Jordan Jackson. Jordan got that money. My dog Jordan Jackson got that bag. So, oh, <laughs> so he's like, uh, people gonna ask for money. No, no, that's it. He got. He got on child support. He, oh, we my bad. Pray, we gonna pray about it. <laughs> so, now, nah, but Wayne, so Wayne was a person that saw something in me that. My, only my family saw. Mm-hmm. Like my friends and family, because I wasn't funny to the world. Yeah, because you said you had. I that. had to have act like, you yeah, know, don't try me, bro. I ain't friendly. But really at home, I'm like, hey. Yeah. And Wayne was like, he kept saying, man, you funny, man. This man funny. He would be laughing by himself. Mm-hmm. See, Wayne type of person, Wayne, if if he thinks something, yeah. he don't wait for everybody else. Hey, just go for it. He's just about to move. He'll be the only person in the house laughing at me. Everybody's be like, this big dude ain't that funny. He'd be like, man, you funny, man. But you you hear that a lot about Wayne, and I hope we can get Country Wayne here over here at Skid Guys, but you hear that a lot about him just being, looking at you like, it's something about you. He's and, and, he take, and he take it and he run with it. He don't care about what the world thinks. He don't care. Like, if he think you funny, mm-hmm. like, me and him like this, I could be like, I don't know. I don't think she's funny. All right. He don't care. Right. I'm pushing her. Right. And usually I got to call him like, man, you was right, bro. She is funny, or that yeah. person so he is. He just good. has a strong eye for talent. His and, thing and is, work ethic. It's great. You can't 
be great if you're not, not grateful, and you can't be great if you don't see the greatest of other people. Mm -hmm. So that's his thing. He always see the, and I learned it from Jerry Brookhammer said the same thing too as well. Mm -hmm. I was like, what's your secret? Me and him sitting there, we ain't like friends, but I was, yeah, yeah. I was in the hey, movie set, and I'm, I'm yeah, asking. Yeah, ask. mm -hmm. He said, well, I just hire everybody that's great at what they do and let them do their job. I see the greatness in people. So that's like the thing that Wayne does. And he saw it in me. He was like, you funny, man. Be funny. Like, do that. On camera, I was like, all right, you know, be Did free. it take you a lot to pull out of that out of that space? Like like out of that that reserved space that you were in that you had to been taught and mm. like molded into? Did it take you a lot to get out of it and just break free? I think that happened once I did that, when I did them skits at the house by myself, because it was just me. I was my audience, but then I saw the, the reaction from mm -hmm. the people, because I was like, damn, like my first video, I, I got like 50 some thousand views. I was like, oh, damn. And it was 70 some thousand, like people was waiting to see it. Mm. And I was like, oh, I can, like, this is cool. You so know? you only got, you got all positive? Did anybody think like you were corny or not funny? Did you see anything like that? They probably did. I didn't. You didn't even know. Didn't know. I got too many good ones. I was like, man, okay, right, that. right. That's real though, man. That's real dog. Cause I like, probably hit their girlfriend or something. That'll make sense. That make sense. Hey, Maybe it, you, 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 that's, 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 you, you, I think that's a flex. Miami. I think it's a flex, flex drive. They know about ah. you. They know about you in the street. That's what they say. I love you. Look familiar. All right. Oh, Tanya. Oh, okay. As long as it wasn't me. You look real familiar, boy. So on, on, over here at Skit Guys, we have a segment called Going Viral, right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember your most viral video? I'm going to tell you the one. Okay, I'm not trying to flick. Don't hit that button. It is. She but hit that button already. I'm going to say that <laughs> the one I remember that I always tell Wayne to me was when I was like, yo, this is like, I'm a part of this skit world, you know? Yeah. Was when we did the... Um, it was when Mike makes the deacon goes, when Mike, when the church picked the deacon goes wrong or something, me and Wayne was up for the deacon. deacon. Mm -hmm. And he thought he was going to get it, and I got it. Okay. And that was my first time, like, because Wayne was like, bro, like, go at me. Yeah. Like, don't don't try to respect the country Wayne thing. I need you to be you, like you, on, you know, like in the movies. Okay. I was like, all right, bet. So come, like, clown back. I was like, all right. Cause I think that's when you first started getting into your pettiness. Yeah, yeah like, cause he was always trying to play it like uh, real cool, real right. cool. He but like, nah. He like, I think you like really went in. Let's man, let's check. Let's, this, yeah, let's then we gonna have to run it. it. We gonna we gonna run it for us real quick so the world can see. We are going to announce our new deacon here at the church. This young man, when I met him, it was an honor to be able to meet him. This I mean, far. you got the. He that's the, God that's that heart. white, white on him. He, he about to put oh, heaven on his head right there, boy. Yeah. Put on. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> 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 Pause, pause, pause real quick. Oh, that's a look back for me. That was the first time that laugh that came out too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that laugh. Okay, go. we still watch. Let's play. Let's play. Good guy. The pettiness. Saints. Would you say unanimous? Unanimous. <laughs> Got five words that. Unanimous means kind of like a blowout a little bit. Kind of like a blowout a little bit. Saints, when I hey. saw the email that it was between me and Country Wayne, you ain't seen it. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little nervous. Roll. I said, you know, he, Roll. I ain't a comedian, got some money. But you know what? The lesson was today. Yeah. He might be funny. <laughs> he might be funny. But God ain't gonna laugh at matter. Listen, God ain't gonna laugh at matter. How you think you're mad at a preach? Hilarious. I love your <laughs> facial expression. <laughs> hey, you big man. Hey, big ups to you, man. You big that. ups. Yeah, how many uh, how many views did that video get? Can you remember? I don't know. <laughs> so many. So many. Okay. Y'all so crazy. No. So let me ask you this: When you when y'all transition from like you just being an actor, because mm -hmm. now you like you produce a lot of the stuff now mm -hmm. too. So like, how did that conversation even change from like, because you know when you bring somebody in acting in the skits, it's like okay, you just get your little what you get, mm -hmm. and now it's like now y'all y'all done turned into like a full blown production. Yeah, production. So how did that that transition start coming in? So we were on tour 
for his, you know, his comedy tour, his comedy tour, and basically I was reading this this film I wrote to him and Jordan and Arby and Tate, and we was in the hotel, I, and I read, and they were so engaged, I went through the whole movie. Word. I was supposed to read wow. a page, and then he was like, "Man, you can write." I was like, "That's what I did professionally for almost twenty years." And I was like, "I'm a writer." Okay, boom. So he put that in the back of his head. So he was been he was about to go film in New Zealand, mm -hmm. and he shot 30, 30 skits that would last a month. But but he going he was gonna be there for like, you know, a couple months. I think it was two months. So he's like, "Hey, Mike, man, I'm gonna let you produce some skits." I was like, "Oh yeah." So uh, before he left, I tried at first. I got fired at first because I didn't know what the hell I did. <laughs> like, I was trying to was write. Was your day off at least? Man. You know what? I, I was in New York. I was feeling good. I had flew to New York to shoot some skits. That's how okay. bad it was. I was. I'm taking it to the next level. Oh, I'm not in a sure. hotel in New when York. When I was about to go up. About to shoot with my homegirl, Daniel True from Law and Order. Like, I'm going to have you in the skits. It's going to be good. I'm a producer now. He called, hey, man, this ain't working out, man. I said, like, what you mean, bro? I'm in, I'm in New York. Why did she? They don't shoot them. <laughs> I can't kill them no more. That's it. I he said, stopped you immediately. Right there. Not a board mission. But what happened was, the problem was, he said, Mike, the issue is, I was trying to put my my friends on, my actor friends on, gotcha. and I wasn't in the skits. He said, he said you how I use me to get you hot, you have to use you to get them hot. Uh. So he gave my job back, and I put myself in the skits, and I started writing. And then uh, it just, and then when he went to New Zealand, I was doing five. We had, at the time, I think we was doing like six skits a day. I also do some five skits a day. Word. Five of them a day, yep. So now I do like four. I do four. Uh, he does like two to three, and then Chase Walker does one too. So how was it keeping day. up with the work ethic? You know what I mean? Because when you're doing skits at home, mm. you can do it on your time. You're mm. like, okay, this one hit, bet I'll do another one next week. Now you're going from doing weekly to Daily. multiple a day. Mm -hmm. How was that transition? It's, it's my life now. But I make so much money doing it now, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't even think about acting like that no more. I like I that. Do, I do think about acting. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, no, that's that's real. Yeah, keep going. I ain't trying to see you know, it, bro. You, you ain't got a flex. Look at your muscles. I'm just being real. Like, you got to think about it. I'm doing what I love to do, right? Yeah. And I'm really being paid a to lot it. to do it. Mm -hmm. It's like, what else could I ask for? You know what I'm saying? So now it's like I'm addicted. I have a problem. Wayne was like, man, you need to take off. Like, my calves, everybody was snapping with each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming to work like, y'all ready? You're yeah. like, no, we need, we need a break. So when you so, did your own skits, were you making, were you monetizing off those skits that you did at home? I don't know about no I don't know nothing about that. When Wayne told me he's gonna pay me, I'm like, Shit. all right, man. I went to his house. I was like, oh damn, mm. you got do some skits? Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, you need to sign me up. Because at right. first I didn't believe, I didn't it's like, like the phase I love. Like I remember I had a situation yeah. with him. Like a lot of people, and I'm not talking bad about him. I'm just saying, yeah, like, yeah, for sure. A lot of people who, when you, the old school. What I learned is when you think about Snoop, when you think about T.I., when you think about um, even Gucci, mm -hmm. like to stay relevant, you have to, because Wayne younger than me, Yeah. you have to be okay with innovation. Absolutely. You can't fight against it. You can't be like, man, back in my day, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah but back in your day, you had a microwave, you spin the thing on, you had DVDs, and you had a school drive to turn your TV on. Colico right. vision. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. that. Yeah. So I'm the type of person where I'm like, look, I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. And even when I was in the street, I was like that. You know what I'm saying? Like these little young boys coming up, you got you can learn from people younger than you because Absolutely. that's what that's it. the sauce. Yeah. Is the young boy. So Wayne is the young boy telling me, hey man, you can do this, man. And I'm like, you know, I had to fight against that old man back in my day. Yeah. And I seen his house. It was easy to to lose that fight. All right. Okay. <laughs> you know, so you said we was supposed to uh <laughs> No, that's real. No, you know what's funny? So I, I want to even ask about that, cause you know, you go from being street making that street money, mm -hmm. 40 a week, then you start doing like acting money, you know, here and there. Like what's the skit money really look like? And we know you got we know we got you got it on you, so you can you can defend yourself. <laughs> I ain't gonna sit on number because I did that before. And everybody start borrowing, wanting to borrow money, they don't pay you back. Well, you can say no, so, you know that, right? You can always say, nah, I ain't got it. And I promise you, if I borrow money, you but probably won't get it back. There. But there's I'll let you know uh, ahead of time. It's, it's, I, I'll say this, I ain't gonna say what Wayne made, cause he got mad at me last time. Cause everybody was, was on him after that. It was on him. But um, 
Like I do like I do six figures a month. That's what's up. Wait, hold. That's wait what's a, up. Wait, That's you're what's so. Up. Is it is it because I'm broke? <laughs> it, That's uh, what's up, bro. Is no, it, for real. So like even with that. That man said six figures a month. Even with that, man, like how does your heart like? I can't. You went from going to like poisoning, like you said, community mm-hmm. to like now nah, you giving people like entertainment opportunities, opportunities yeah. like and you making this money in a different way, like. How much more like, like if you could tell anybody out there who might have been you, what would you tell them right now? Man, ain't nothing better than like purpose. Purpose is like the money is not the money though. It's the purpose. Like mm-hmm. when I go, when I get a D from the West Side, you know, who was, who was. D from the West Side. Yeah. West Side. You know, I, I was a teacher at this school. He was one of the tutors, I, tutors I, that I, students, not tutors, uh-huh. students I taught. And I always went, man, I could see him doing something. Yeah. He had no agent. He about to quit, and he get a call like, "Bro, come on!" And his life has changed. Yeah. Like seeing that, or seeing these different people who I know are good actors and actresses, because we live in the Atlanta market where they only really give us the opportunity like that because they feel Absolutely. like we're tax break actors and and bringing them all in. That's the joy. It's like seeing people come in. You know, what I'm saying like, "Yo, I was at the mall and people took pictures with me, and my yeah. mom was crying because like that is the is the that's the." You can't really put a price on that. That's the thing that made me feel good about by myself. Like, man, I'm really living in my purpose. Like, is the fruit yeah. from it? You know what I mean? Or even with my family, like helping my, you know, my grandma wanting this, and I know that I can go buy whatever she want, yeah. and I'm yeah. doing it from a space of because before when I would do stuff with my grandmother, you know, and my my family, they knew what it was coming from, and they would take it because they like, I gotta take this to take care of this thing. But it was that shame a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, thank you, thanks, Mike. Yeah. Like, dang, I gotta take money from the devil to pay this bill almost. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But then, but now it's like heaven sent. Everybody's so proud. Like yeah. my father's so proud of me. Like me and my father had an issue, you know, situation I can talk about now, but he my father was the was the the sergeant of the police force in his city, and I was doing my thing, coming wow. from bringing stuff from Florida wow. up there, and I had an incident and my dad kicked me out of the city. I was wow. downtown, they, I was downtown, handcuffed, uh, handcuffed to the, you know, the 48 hour style. They had me, they had SWAT, everybody came and got me, and my pop walked in the interrogation room with me. And they couldn't, they didn't have the evidence to arrest me, but you know, yeah. but my pop came in there, he said, he came in there, he was like, they gonna let you go. But when they do, he said, get out of my city. Mm-hmm. So like going from that, like your father saying, leave my city. To now you proud. Like you bringing yeah. violence to my city, man. Get out of here, man. Go back to Florida with that. To now, like. What's the conversations like? Oh, hey. man, he's so proud. Like my father, that's like the one thing I would just be so grateful to like Wayne for. You know what I'm saying? Like you put me in a position to make my father proud. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He like called me like, hey, that's man. Dope. Big ups, man. He's so dope. proud. Dope, huh? dope, Big yeah. ups. That's dope, man. To have like that type of like impact mm-hmm. from what you're doing now, you know, even to have it happen in one lifetime, because you never hear these stories go well. You know what I'm saying? Somebody mm-hmm. who made that street fast money and then transitioning their life to like something in such a positive way. You know Man. what I'm saying? I mean, like, eat, bro, shoot, because that money, I know you say it ain't about the money, though, but shoot, it's about the money for a lot of folks, bro. That's they right. think it is. You know, they it think it is. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. yeah we, it's not that we, it kind of is, but it, but it ain't. <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, 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 I love the money. I look. I love money. I ain't gonna I say I, like, I love money, but I'm telling you, like, I promise. So how you much that. you making one skit though? I want to know what oh, that is. I want to know what's the most, cause I don't know if it. So that's the most. You, <laughs> you not Wayne. We ain't having Wayne. What's yeah, the George, most you have? George can't since, defend himself. You know, cause money, money ain't a thing, right? <laughs> well, let's talk about it. All right. It's <laughs> just. It's six fuckers a month. Sometimes. Okay. Okay. We'll okay. Say that. Okay. We'll say that. But we love it. We love yeah. the humbleness. <laughs> oh man, man, I got trouble last time. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't even worry about it. It's fine. It's so all right, um, we're heading into a position because I love that you say. You know, I'm not a comedian, mm-hmm. and a lot of times people confuse comedic actors for comedians and think you're trying to take away from what they got going on, right? right? Mm-hmm. Um, could you see yourself doing more in the comedic world outside of Wayne, mm-hmm. like? movies and oh, stuff yeah. like that is that kind of where you want to go definitely i just did praises with will packer right uh on peacock I yeah played, i pray uh, that was my first time really mm-hmm. getting uh, being on a film of that magnitude mm-hmm. and exercising my comedy 
Because most of before I did, I was always a killer. I was always an assassin. I was always a... But because of the social media... Did the, did the Wayne skits help you get yeah, to definitely, this? definitely. Because now when I... Even when they offer, it's a different offer. It's a, more, it's a different level. And then it's like, hey, I'm getting a lot of comedic auditions now. Before I was wow. always like... You're gonna go in here now. You're gonna kill the whole family. I'm like, damn. All right. So I you like actually that. don't want to do what's that. Crazy about that. So the skit, the skits have kind of changed the imagination of the casting directors for you now. Mm, that's pretty much what's happened. Yep. And so that's even why it's even more control that you have, like, because now you talk about before, you know, traditional actors like your even your uh, acting coach. Mm -hmm. Like, how does he feel now that you now that it's gone a different way? Please tell me how that feels. He don't like me no more. He don't like you no more? Uh, no, we you ain't. went petty on him? You, you, no, I ain't <laughs> me, and him ain't, me and him ain't cool no more. And it's a, it's sad, but, you know, man, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. No. Fame is, is a beautiful thing, but it's tricky. You know what I'm saying? Because people start to have different expectations from you that you really can't give them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't make you famous. You know what I'm saying? I can't make people want to do to, to you know what I'm saying? I can try to put you on, but like Kevin Hart can't make the Plastic Cup boys. Yeah, right. They gotta be, they gotta, they it gotta, gotta be in front of people yeah, yeah, and see what happens. Yeah. I can't make you this. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And a lot of times with with, with notoriety and famous stuff, it's like it just gets uh, it get tricky, man. People getting their feelings about stuff. People, um, you know, it get tricky. Yeah. Now, have you seen where family members are doing the same thing, or is it just people in the business? There's some family members too, but not the ones that, that really was close to me. Thank God, you know what I'm saying? Like my sister and my father, like all my people who's close to me, they cool, they, they're proud, they're happy for you, but I'm telling you, man, it's just, even if you, I don't care if you was working at Verizon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you became this, if you and the person was here and you became this and you can't, you can't happen. make Verizon give them the same position. Sometimes it just causes, it causes um, that friction, man. You know yeah. I know about it, man. Shoot, that's how I be in the barber world, bro. Mm -hmm. No matter how much I put somebody on, they can feel some type of way about something. You know what I'm saying? So I know that I know that world. And you want them to have you it. You want them to have it, but it's just like you may not have it. Like what y'all doing? Like somebody, y'all got somebody right now that you, I, I'm probably putting some out there, but somebody y'all was grinding with, somebody from back, you like, oh man, y'all probably had some going. You like, yo, I'm finna do this thing with Comedy Hype, man. They like, oh, congratulations, man, what's up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? You, how, how the little Comedy Hype thing going up? Yeah, 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 that was little, all right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. you oh, like, yeah. damn. You still doing them little skits yeah. all the time? Yeah, yeah. Comedy Hype, like, yeah. bro, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, um, when you, whenever you elevate in anything, unfortunately, you can't take everybody with you. Yeah. You know Do you have saying? a lot of haters? Of course. Yeah. Would you see? I, like I got so much love. I got too. I got more yeah. love though. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't. I don't give that off. You know what I mean? I don't right. give off. I didn't been through all that. All the that tough. Girl. I don't want to be. I don't want to beef. I don't want to fight. Shoot. I done did all that already. I want to love people. So. Well, more so, not way. not necessarily in life. I mean, like just. In the comedic world right now, oh, in the definitely. skit world, definitely. how do you respond to people saying, oh, he yeah, ain't funny and stuff like that? We love that. I mean, because I had, I've had that with people, of course, because they feel like, in their mind, like, if people are laughing, they're like, he's not a comedian. Right. Yeah, yeah. He ain't hitting no stage. He ain't, I'm like, I never said I was. Yeah. yeah. I didn't say I want to be the best comedian on stage. I'm just, whatever guy got for me, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get it. You yeah. know, and, and and even though now I'm not my passion, I want to be a superhero. I want to be, you know, I want to be a special forces mm -hmm. superstar in the film, but that's my passion. But if God's saying, now hold on, Mike, I'm going to push you over to this area, into this comedic world, and you'll be successful in this. You know, anytime somebody's successful with something, yeah. they're doing something right. They're doing something There's right. comedians that I don't think are funny to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody don't think, if somebody don't think I'm funny, it's not personal. Mm -hmm. That's their taste, yeah. but they can't say I ain't funny. Oh, right. I can't say that. There's comedians I think are not funny to me. Mm -hmm. I'm never gonna say he's not funny, because if he go on that stage, people paying to come see him. Mm -hmm. If he go online, people pay, watching and viewing him, mm -hmm. then they're funny to them. Yeah, that's real. So it's not to me, and it ain't nothing personal. It's not like man, Mike ain't funny. 
I ain't gonna be like, let's go out back and see who funny and whoop your ass. Yeah. It ain't I, like I that. Because if I was gonna say it to you, I'd say it in your DMs and I'll never meet you in person. Because yeah. uh, like you, you ain't about to, uh, you ain't gonna knock my teeth out, boy. That's how you reach out, Yeah, And that you kind of touched on it a little bit, but mm-hmm. you brought up face on love and as if there was some little, little tick. And like, what happened with that? Oh, no, I did an interview one time. Uh, he did an interview one time and just was, um, I hate I brought him up, but it was, it's just, um, I was putting him in a category of people like our OGs, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, that don't understand innovation. You know, oh, so, he didn't so just innovate. nothing he personal didn't. to you, it's just in general. Well, if you come to Wayne, you know, you I, come just, in... I take it a little personal. That's my problem. Okay. I'm, I still, that side of me still there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but he ain't say nothing crazy like I'm a whoop Wayne. He right, just, of course. No. He just was like, all oh, that little shit, you know, trying to downplay it. But mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, you shouldn't do that because, um, we should pass on the information. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if this man making millions of dollars, you too and these can. and these young kids or whoever may look up to you, and they looking to you for information about it, and you and you downplaying it. Now you might push that person away from their destiny. They're like, oh man, big homie said that ain't real. I'm gonna go to this, mm-hmm. and they miss out on their blessing. So I'm Feel never that. gonna say what nobody else is doing is little. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Especially they making. Millions, millions, millions of, of dollars, dollars and taking care of their family and other people's family and putting people in position to change people's lives. You can't, I mean, you could do, you can, but I just, I didn't think it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Especially considering that I, like, I love, you know, I'm a very masculine man. Mm-hmm. So I like the phase I love. The, it's some, the, 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 the tougher comedians, the comedians that, that come from the gutter, the, the, gutter, the, the, street. the real, the street. Yeah, that's why I took it. That's why yeah. I was a little. More of sex. I'm like, damn, I look at bro like, you know what I'm saying? You you come from, you you got that background too. Man. So like that, you supposed to be the we we the main people who's supposed to uplift another brother. Especially with Wayne getting out the mud, just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? He come, I mean, getting out the mud. The mud. Absolutely. So I was it wasn't nothing, it wasn't nothing like when I see you, it wasn't nothing like oh, that. I didn't, I, yeah. It was just on some like, damn, bro, like, I'm gonna speak on it because that's my partner. Like, everybody says something about my partner. I feel like if it's it ain't right, and I get in front of a microphone, and they ain't come up. I'ma say it. I say it to your face. For sure. Yeah. I say it's on sight. It's on. Nah, it's on. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. It's on. Would, it's would you have done that if you were shorter? It's on sight. I'm knocking it out. Would be. you be that? Would you do that if you were shorter? Just like. Oh, I'd be worse. Yeah, you. Be, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah I, I, I only lost one fight, and it was a little short, dude. My, I'm, I'm not bad about that too, bro. <laughs> I'm about to say, I to bring you, it up, man. Was it you, Papa? My bad, dog. You're not we, sure. We, we got, we got, it was, <laughs> we was on the Spades game. Hey, Renee, I said, I said, right. You big, you big at heart, for real. I can tell. Well, so, I love that, I love that you speak about respect, because respect is really big here at Skit That's Box. what it is, man. And you got that comedic chops, right? Yeah. So we have this great game. We know you're not oh, a comedian. Man. Yeah, give me that. Put that out there first. And now, so over here at Comedy <laughs> at Comedy Hype, they have this trivia game. What we're yes. going to do is we're going to ask you three questions, mm-hmm. all the, in regards to comedy. Okay. Okay. Because okay? uh, you already earned our respect here at Skit Guys. Yeah. You're already a Skit you're Guy, already, guy you're all right? Skit Guy, but you're I'm like, like a comedian. Baby. But now you got to earn you got you got to earn your uh, respect Let over here at Comedy Hype as now well. If I get this right, I need all the comedians out there to respect me. All right. As a, as but what wannabe, happens if you wannabe. don't? You know, you know what they're going to If they're going to fight you? <laughs> if I don't, oh. please. One more card. So, all right. So I'm going to pick the first one. All right. All right. Hold on. You know I'm what? I'm confident with something. I feel shuffle. like the comedic guys yeah, would Yeah, because right last time I didn't shuffle, and we ain't going to talk about that. Do I feel like that? Why I feel like that? No, it's okay. It's like a movie. you like... Bam, bam, bam. Okay. All right. So. I got it, man. Let's do it. All right. We did this one. No, no, no. Wait a minute, I didn't hear it. Nope. It's on a different episode. Yep, no, no. Nope. Oh, okay, nope. I got you, I got you. We learn our lessons over here at, at Skit Guys. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. How old was Ari Spears when he first appeared on HBO's Deaf Comedy Jam? 18? 16. Dang, I but who would have known that, right? That's I okay. thought it was 18. That was very, that was very that was close. Good. That was good. I was bad. close. That's very close. Yeah. Very... I didn't say 27. That's it. Now, you definitely didn't say 27. I knew it was a teen, though. I remember saying that's, that's, yeah. that's something special, right? Here so we I'm go. I'm saying I watched, I watched Comedy Hype. You know it. You know oh, it. Oh, I, that's why I get my, I get my gems. I'm, you heard that, boss man? I'm going to get something right. He, he watched it. All right, here we go. All right. In the movie, mm-hmm. Undercover Brother, starring Eddie Griffin. <laughs> 
Not the damn early. Ooh, yeah, man. <laughs> Give yourself some, <laughs> some hope. <laughs> what did Eddie Griffin have to learn to eat to make it in white America? Apple pie? That's not a bad answer. Very close. It's a wrong. Well, not well, close, at all. close. It's one not close at Very all. It's not close at all. Very close. Try again. Um, potato salad with raisins in it? I mean, you getting that, there. It's getting whiter. Very close. <laughs> Avocado. You're getting white some like more. Getting whiter. Let's get white whiter. some more. You know what? We're going to keep giving this more right here. Let's white right some more. There. One more. Come on. One a little bit more. Chat. Come on. Get more Eat. chattish. Uh, was it mayo? There you go. See what I did? There you go. Oh, all right. We're going to get that to you. That's how you got it. Because it could have been anything. It was the white It was the white pillow. It was the white pillow. The comedy height white pillow. There you go. That would help me out. And so I'm going to let you pick this one, but you can't look at it. Okay? Okay. All right. There you go. And then hand it to Marcus. Hand it to Marcus. Ah, this one right here. A little thick ass fingers. There you go. Okay. All right. It's not a little thick ass. <laughs> I can't text fast. I'd be like, yeah, I bet. I'm right, still right. using T9. Here, here we go. How did James Evans mm. die on good times? Take your time. Oof. Now that's Think that. back. Now I remember that. Think back. It was so Ooh. sad. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how he really died. Okay. T tell him how he really died. He really died. Tell, tell us how he really died. Come because on. he went off on a white pool in that back office. That's what really happened. That's the real answer. Now, you want the okay. real answer. No, no. Don't, don't. Everybody want it. <laughs> Give us another one, though. You, you might watch comedy hype. You know what it is. That's the real answer. You know what it is, my brother. With the commercial answer? It would be what? Uh, the beginning with the H. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a heart attack? No. Oh, okay. Car crash. It was a car crash. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> Give it up, man. There you go. He got my close. close. Now, see, was, I, I never know. had nobody ask that type of Tell me about the, the back story. car crash. He thought he was going to survive, and then he had a heart attack from the impact. Yeah. But y'all didn't know that. Y'all didn't know that. Because y'all don't watch comedy hype. That's our fault. So, where did you I, learn I, I that? What, I see what's mm. happening. You know that was the other did. episode. They took it down. Oh, okay, so was it after the thing? John took it. Okay. Where the neck had literally disappeared. Yeah, I do one more. Yeah, see, you like the game. Oh, that's crazy. See, you I like can't do one. And you can definitely do one more, but at home, you can definitely do one more. And please purchase. Oh, can I get one? The trip. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not I'll for free. It. You I'll got it. You, you got, got money now. Not for free. You said free. a month. You heard. We heard what you do. You got it. All right, because money don't matter now. No, I didn't say I'll make it. One million dollars. He's a little light. It's pretty open box. You even touch it. Hold on, that's the budget. That's but okay. That's the budget. Okay. Okay. I gotta pay it by check. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you what you can't. I got a lot. It's over here. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna pay for. This game ain't nothing for me. You already had chicken. All right, so. Name the movie. Uh-huh. Hot pizza coming through. Hot pizza coming through. That's Barton. Yeah. Okay. Blue okay. Street. Hey! Hey! I don't know if I got your pizza. Hey, I got your pizza. Hey, that, 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 you that, got that. it. You got it. All right, so he done already officially. He got the hype. Yeah, so. Respect comedy hype. Stamp. Over tell here at comedy hype. Tell, tell these folks now. All y'all comedians out there playing with me, talking about my back, saying I'm a comedian. Fight them right now. I ain't got to fight you. Need, I mean, the, the, they already told them. You need, you need it, to tighten up. It's already yeah, said. It's already in there. You know what? Yeah. You should play. Give me this. <laughs> Did he take you, you, the card? Right. You should play Shug, a young Suge Knight. I heard next, that before. In the next autobiography of Suge Knight. I missed that, that, that role. Or Flo Rida. L.T. Hutton. LT if they Hutton. ever do a movie about him. That's it. Just true story. L.T. Hutton. Okay. When they shot the movie, the Tupac movie. Uh-huh. The cast was in my building. Oh. I seen LT on the elevator. He said, hey, man, this true story. I ain't making this up. I believe. He said, I was doing this movie, man. Um, I told him I was an actor. Mm -hmm. I got a role for you, like, Suge. And in my head, I'm going to be real with you, LT Hutton. I said, man, ain't doing no damn movie. <laughs> Mr. Blessing. I said, all right, bro, I got you. He said, for Mr. real, take my number. I took his number. And then. Oh, not to take my number. Back. I ain't call him. <laughs> and then you I seen him. the dude on the elevator. That looked like uh, uh, Demetrius Shipman. Mm -hmm. Shipman, he played Tupac. I said, "Man, what I haven't told you." He said, "Yeah." I said, "Thought we took a picture together." Boom, it's on Instagram. And then I was at the gym. We was working out, and he was like, "Yeah, you know the dudes is doing that uh, Tupac movie. They're standing in the Atlantic, man. I think it's like a forty million dollar budget." I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, where's my guy? Uh, I know. Yeah, you remember what you said? Yeah. Hey, bro, I, I was man, out of town. I've been trying to call you. <laughs> hey, man, I don't know. When I had caught the COVID, it was crazy. <laughs> what y'all? Where, where y'all at right now? Y'all, y'all hey, all set right now? Y'all starting right now. Oh, okay. I already got my lines. I've seen that. I, 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 
photograph of Mimi. Hey, I got it's you. actually the uh, the Tupac's telling you, oh yeah, I heard it before the whole time playing a part in the movie. This, oh, and he, and, he, and he played it. He was like, yeah, I'm, I'm shooting a movie. He, Cause he's real shy in person. He's like, yeah, we shoot, I'm shooting a movie. I'm like, oh, that movie, they yeah. avoid them. So listen, people, don't sleep on people. Yeah. You know how I know that you were telling the truth? When Mike tells the truth, he does this first. Uh, now listen, <laughs> A.T. Hutton. I'm trying to I'm trying to yeah. type into your, your in soul. soul software and I do that because I with that, with that very expensive bracelet. Huh? Anyway, trying, you know. <laughs> so with with Mike Blitzland, I'm gonna speak from a very feminine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so disregard. Speak to me, baby. My glasses on. From the hood, uh, the women, right? Uh -huh. What's it like? They you Mike Blitz, baby. They own you now. <laughs> they own you you now Mike Blitz, baby. <laughs> you know what's crazy? That's when you don't want. I'll be so busy. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? You, listen, yeah, before nah, you finish he, this, he went, from, he went from sprinkling I to can't he went from <laughs> unity. Don't you piss us off? <laughs> no, let me tell you. Okay, I'm be real with you. Yeah. When I was in my street days, I wild out so bad. You don't need to. And the mess my name was so bad. Cause this, okay, this is what happened. I had a show. Okay. And I was, was singing, and the girls going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to the audience. My I was like, okay, and I went. to... And I got honest, the old lady after what she said, baby, she say, don't be accessible. Women don't like that. She said, when you was on stage, they were screaming, you had them. And then you went out there and they touched you and then took you out the room. And I said to myself, old lady, be quiet. Get your ass up. What the hell are you talking about, old lady? Get you don't know nothing about that. Get your gun in hands off. And then door. I realized she was on after it. I had sex with the whole city back yeah. then. <laughs> They would, after I, I it put it to the test. Because I started hitting everything. Because I, I accessible at that point. I, and then what happened was, my career started going down. Mm, wow. They were not fantasy no more. Because women ain't going to put you on their wall if you didn't hit all the homegirls. So they'd be crazy. like, Mike, bless. Uh, he That's a hug. I'm like, how you doing? My name Mike. Mike, bless. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nah, I, I, I heard, heard about like, you, baby. Yeah, is it? So I said, Because we do talk. No, for real. <laughs> like and, 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 and the more you, the, when you get notoriety, yeah. women brag on you like we brag on women. Nah. So I'd be like, how you doing, baby girl? Mike, bless. He tried to holler at me. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So. Oh, they will be, call you at. Yeah, you, oh, yeah. you say hi. Look, look at my yeah. DM. Look, that goes right here. Mike, bless. It's the wrong way. No hard so, eyes. Don't do, don't hit him with I no said, hard eyes. I said, guy, if you give me another chance at this type, any type of way, I'm gonna mess it up. Mm -hmm. So now I got this. You saying no? I fly my name through the back cave, man. Okay. Like nobody hey, know what I got going chilling. on. You be chilling. Some women be thinking that they're like, is he gay? Like you don't know what I got going on. Yeah. Keep it on the low. It's so low. It's I so bring low. man under the ground. I just, I got like a tunnel. Okay. You gotta come to the tunnel to my house. And with NDAs. Damn near. I ain't mad at that. That's how you get him to dust the dirt off your eye, baby. Go take a shot. Just, <laughs> everybody see it, Diddy. I'm very, I'm very, very private with my, with my love life, cause I want to remain. I don't want to be like in Atlanta. Like my name good in Atlanta. Yeah. Ain't no women out there saying, nah, Florida. It's some, uh, it's some, it's trash. It's a lot of. But it don't count, you know that. Not back in the day. Yeah. That, that, just that, like, that's just important. like men, it don't count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting that's back in the right. day. So, <laughs> so like even that. Now you know there's been a lot of uh, talk about in the, the masculinity type thing, uh -huh. like you know. How does that? How do you define masculinity now that you kind of chilled out on that? Like, do you do you still define yourself as like how many people you take down? Nah, that ain't yeah. masculinity. That's just thoughting. That ain't masculinity. Mike Bless said yeah. it here. It's he just thoughts. Masculinity is really like protecting, providing. It's like that thing because you got to think about it. Like you're given a certain level of strength naturally, mm -hmm. and that is supposed to be to protect. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hate the term toxic masculinity. Yeah. Because it doesn't exist. I'm gonna tell you why. Because masculinity and femininity is divine. So if you really operate in masculinity, you can't be toxic. It's like saying toxic happy. Mm -hmm. Like if you're happy, you're just happy, you can't be toxic happy. Mm -hmm. The word is called sad. Mm -hmm. So you can't be toxic masculinity. Toxic. If you beating a woman, you ain't masculine. You're not masculine. If you're male chauvinism, if you're an insecure man, you're an insecure man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're trying to, you know, yeah, baby, come over here and work for me. You're trying to hit everything and come there and use your position of power. That's not masculine. Yeah. Masculinity is like, is protecting. You know what I'm saying? Like getting in front of, getting in front of your, 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 your wife or your children saying, huh, I'm going to take this bullet or 
I'm going to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and go to work, even though you get on my damn nerves. Yep. I'm going to go out here and do this shit because... Can I curse on here? Yeah. 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 Lot, this one's already... But that's, but that's, yeah, but that's, what, you at this that's point. what masculinity really is. Yeah. So because in our community... Um, they define it in a different way now because, you know, even Jonathan Majors had some breeze back on, like, how he was, you know, taking pictures, how he was displaying... All, like, how do you feel about that type of stuff? Well, I ain't taking a picture with my my, my chin on my, my man's shoulder, mm. but I'm that's not a, doing it. But if that's, do that. That's if that, if that. But if he's, if that's what he want to do, yeah. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like just me, I ain't, you got to do what make you comfortable. And we live in a time where like, it's like, do what make you comfortable. And that's gangster. Could you have done that essence uh, shoot? Nah, I ain't doing that. Mm-hmm. Ain't, 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 <laughs> hell no, nah, I ain't put me in no shit like that. Uh-uh. <laughs> but I mean, we're part of him. You it's know what I'm saying? No, no, no disrespect. That's him. I'm talking about me. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like if you're a vegan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm eating some 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 uh, some chitlins. Yeah, good old chitlins. And I'm like, you want some? You like hell no, I want that. But I ain't gonna judge you. You know? Yeah. If you eat chillers. I don't know how we got there. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting because I'm vegan and I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, so, I'm uh, no, I'm mess, I'm messing you with know, you. I mean, I'm right, me- yeah. No, I'm messing with you. So could you imagine, like, so you're keeping it on the low, you're dating, mm-hmm. you're doing your thing, but your woman wants to kind of get loud with it. Do you? Could you do that, especially with the the female crowd or the female followers that you have. I'm not sweating. Because we, they, yeah. it's not me, it's yeah, the women. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling from the women like, guys. I mean, ask, like, you know, that means like, that means you're going to be like going to possibly get married and now you got to say, you know what, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm afraid because I did a dating show too. A word. Yeah, Which one? I did Ready to Love. I was in the first season. Ready to Love. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I learned it changed my thought process on like public, like famously or trying to date for notoriety. Like when I see couples now and I see a lot, I see a lot of stuff that they're, they're trying to show. Mm-hmm. I, because I and I feel it. I yeah. feel like you're trying to show. Look at us. Look, he's doing this. Look, he's doing that. Look at us. I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's, there's this thing that it becomes for the people. Mm-hmm. And then when you do something for the people it takes and you give it to them, you giving them access and you giving them power to, because because like once you put yourself in, like earlier, if somebody say I ain't funny, they got the right because I put myself on this platform to say, mm-hmm. hey guys, mm-hmm. I'm trying to be funny it. now. Yeah. If you don't think it's funny, I can't be like, man, meet me on the because right. that's you know anything you do. So when you put your relationship on this platform, mm-hmm. it's gonna be scrutinized. You're gonna get some love. You're gonna make some money because we love to see love, and it, it, you can monetize that. But then when you had those issues, like when me and her, we couldn't make because like the issues are magnified because Absolutely. it could be the littlest thing. Like I was like this one time, and I um uh, and I had to because I had the little ass jacket on, mm-hmm. and I because yeah, everything's small. small. This is small. small. Like, That's very small. small. It's, it's, it's small. small. Yeah. I can't. I like designer, but designer don't like me. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like this, and I went to try to get up, and my arms were t- I was like, Ugh. and I went like that. And it's like, look at how he put, he's got to be hitting her. He's, a, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Or if y'all having an issue, it's like when you and your mate have an issue, y'all are very vulnerable to, to opinion. Yeah. Absolutely. So now, especially now, you got all these guys, like, you already, that's, that's already just in life, period. Mm-hmm. Social media, you know what I'm saying? Grand Rising Queen, all them niggas. Yeah, <laughs> they and they can't wait to see her post that video, post ah! that that subliminal post about that you. That's like, right. Why can't a man just let a woman? I'm gonna be me when you have to choose see, you first. When your man doesn't do, you like I'm your man. What the Boy, hell? Right? Uh, yeah, them subliminals. So imagine that at a, a magnified, very high yeah. level. I'm scared of that because I've been through. We, we wasn't like Jay Z Master. It was yeah, yeah. it was on TV, but we but. We was we had millions of people watching us, yeah, and everybody having an input, and they and putting it into your relationship, in their, yeah, their, their traumas, yeah, their toxic. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I remind her of the dude that did this to her, so now I got these fans bringing that shit into our relationship, and she's seeing that in these comments, because comments people don't know, it's a real thing. Yeah, comments getting your head. Trolls. It's a real thing. Like I, I got no, I've been through it so many times when I did the. Um, the slip and slide time. Cause back, I had to damn near get counseling one time. I had my teeth. When I first started doing music, I had this back hook tooth. Okay. 
It came that way. Okay. The back one. You know, you know, you know, got the another, back too. Is another. Is like another one tube. behind. Yeah, the, behind. The, shark, the, shark the one tube. that supports the, the shark too. The shark yeah. too. Yeah. Uh huh. You got shark the shark. The piranha. The piranha teeth. The piranha teeth. And I thought, I thought I was, I was like, I'm fine. And I have yeah. my little song, and I put my song World Star, and you know, it was my first time putting it to the world. I was like, man, when they see this, I'm about to blow up. And what they see? What them comments, boy? What they see? What, what, what all they see? The first comment, I'll never forget it. <laughs> what all did they see? The one said, court. she said, I remember the word for word, because I went to the dinner yeah. the next day. She was like, he sounds so good. And he was, I thought he was fine until he opened his mouth. God, no. Did y'all see the bottom of his teeth look like they was wrestling for position? And I was like, damn. Wrestling oh, for position. Man, like, I My mom. It. She thought I'm about man. it. She thought I'm about it. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. She be thinking about it. You know, people oh. think about it. They even delete. People sometimes. get creative. Yeah, because they delete. The They're like, you know what? Oh, nah, yeah, there are comedians in these up. comments. Absolutely. Get, yeah. But see, so I was new to it, and that's it to me. I had to go to the dentist. I was like, yeah, I got in consultation. Yeah, yeah. And they had to pull it out and push my teeth in. Oh, the baby. She did this, wherever yeah. that lady was. I got a nice seat, but you I bought her, these. You thank her today. <laughs> I bought these because of her. Thank her, thank her right now. Thank you, lady in the comments. Appreciate you, lady in the comments, patrolling. You probably live in your mama's basement. <laughs> yeah, you definitely You broke. <laughs> you broke, lady. I'm just playing. He not. I, I'm just playing. How many years? He, he blessed. Mom, he Mike blessed at that. I'm just playing. <laughs> blessed, not blessed. No, but, but the comments, and y'all know this. Yeah. Like, if I have a woman who's not in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. Can't understand that. And them comments is coming out. Absolutely. Her, everybody say this. Oh, I don't care about the comments. Yeah, you do. We all, we all somewhat. In some spaces, I mean, absolutely. I don't know. I did it so long. Yeah. I've been doing comedy since the World Star first came out. Mm -hmm. Then I did it in reality TV. Mm -hmm. They told my ass up. And now I'm doing it again. So now for me, I'm like, eh. Right. I'm looking at the numbers now. I'm back office. But ladies, it's not a no. It's just to keep it cool, keep, keep it cool. chill. It's a hell nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is for me. That's what it is. That's because, it is. because my thing is, I'm going to love you properly. If you my woman, I'm going to love you properly. Okay. But if you want... If your goal is for me to show fans that I can love you properly, mm -hmm. then I just ain't the guy for you. Love that. That's a real I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you. Right there. Pay you all your bills. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing pay, all that. Pay all the bills. Because you, you, you know they say they be watching You ain't got sex that much with me. I'm older now. You said, what? You know, hey, you know. Uh, Wait, say, the, say it in the camera. You said, what? <laughs> just walk to the bathroom. Yeah, tell me how. <laughs> That's how you want to see you walk. I'm going to be cash at you as soon as you. Uh, I appreciate you, baby. You're getting out the shower. God, get out the shower. Just getting out the shower. Yeah. That's so crazy because I just took one. <laughs> just put your feet I right just there. Took Let me just look at him while I go to bed sucking my thumb. Yeah, that's just. Hold on. You ain't going to be that act. How much of you? How much? I will talk about it later, y'all. You said 100,000. 100,000 more. I'm older than I look. I'm a creepy age now. Yeah. Uh, you know, you get this age, you want to just look. You, you got a water cooler shit. somewhere, don't you? You just like. You got a water cooler somewhere. Yeah. Over uh, there, over uh, there. You just kind of, you, you grunt, grunt, grunt. Uh, uh, I actually hate right. that for yeah. me. But I, I'll right. do what I got to do. You like, do you like the big toe or the little one? I love them. Oh, All right, we're going to talk know. about I'm this. I'm creepy. Yeah, no, I love this. I'm I'm, I like this for us, actually. So what's next for you, Mike Bless? Yeah. What's less? What's, what's next for you? What, what do you want to do? <laughs> I'm trying to get past <laughs> it. get a whole bunch of shoe models. Over here at Skit Gods. I was going to be a CBD stick and watch your feet. Literally. Yeah. Is it the high? -high? <laughs> Ain't nothing in there. It's a body high. It's a body high. Get a little high-high hemp in you before you know it. You're sucking on top. I'm paying easy. money for By the time I go to sleep, you can go to your real boyfriend. I yeah. sleep early and everything. By 10 o'clock, you, in the you bed. off to your real man. Yeah. And you heard it here first here, Skid Guys. Yeah. Let's go ahead and follow Mike Bless. Right? Can the she positions. take him on a date? Can she take him on a date? Of course. Cause Cause got, I'll be asleep. Yeah, you're right. About 9, 9 13 o'clock, I'm sleepy. Doing. Like, all you got to do is just wake me out. And you, you ain't got to have sex with nothing. It's Jesus easy with me. Good. Tell me. I'm loving Get this him for in the DM, us. Josh. Give me a DM. My guy got you. Sugarbaby.com. Um, but, what you ask me? What's what you got coming up, bro? <laughs> oh, uh, I just did Walking Dead. Yeah, tell us uh, about that, bro. Like, yeah, Dead that's, City. that's my joint, man. Dead City. Uh, we shot so you been there with uh, your Megan. guy? Megan. Yeah. Man, that dude. Man, that was my, my big pay for that, because they don't pay as much as the kids. Yeah. Love y'all. That's dope. That's dope to but, say that, though. But, like, that is we dope to say that. We up, social media. <laughs> we up, man. We need y'all ass. We, part of it. we don't need no strike. Keep your movies. Yeah. Keep your movies. We got the skits. <laughs> I'm, 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 Jeffrey Dean. So Jeffrey Dean. Jeffrey was. Dean. No, Jeffrey Dean. My payment was Jeffrey Dean. I can't say exactly what he said because it's going to be somebody might feel might be hurt. But what he said to me was like, as an actor, what he saw and like he, like he was like, man, because basically he told me, I'm going to tell the creators to bring you back for another season. 
And I can't get into Yeah, yeah no, no, no. We but love we... I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? He's like, dude, you are one of the I don't want to say the word. Come yeah, yeah. One yeah. of the best new actors. Oh, oh, get it out, get it out. Oh, <laughs> real, bro. That's, that, yeah. He's like, hey, now, now, then, now, drop, drop, the, drop now. the flex bar. Now he tells drop the truth. Drop the flex bar. I'll drop that. Drop yeah, 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 yeah. that. And it. then I thought it was cat. You know, Hollywood, yeah. everybody, lunch tomorrow. Me and you, lunch. Yeah. Lunch? Mm -hmm. Nobody has lunch. They say that. They never do. They lie. LA. But he he was lying because, um, because the creator, came and told me. He was like, yo, Jeffrey really likes you, man. He actually came and told me, like, they better work on a way to get you back on the show. I was like, damn. That's, that's real. real talk. They really, he really did that. So Jeffrey, bruh, big bro, big homie, if you see this, thank you. That's love. Because those words was more valuable than the money that they paid me. Okay. Because hey. I'm in the skits. Come on now. You already know. You're, you're a skit guy. Skit guy. I know. That's right. <laughs> that's what's up, man. So you got uh, Walking Dead coming out. You got more, more skits uh, coming out. Season, well... We in talks of season three of um, Kings of Joe Joburg. Bird in, in South Africa. What I can't talk about, but my role is supposed to be way more significant mm -hmm. if we do it. Um, me and Wayne, dang, can I talk about this? Probably not. Can I talk about that? We don't, talk. Don't. We 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 had talked to CBS about our own show. Oh, that's okay. what's up, man! Congratulations, Thank you, bro. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's what's after up, the man. writer's strike is over. Okay, after, but you'll be making your money well then. You know, Till then. That's but up. listen, all the actors in Atlanta. You know what I mean? High letters, man. Because yeah, listen, I'm not one of the people. You know, I don't kick nobody but it down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the writers, a lot of people, a lot of actors in the city was talking about me. Like, oh, Michael. Because I was a, let me just say this, actor of the year, AAC, actor of the year, Greenlit. I was three different actor of the years in Atlanta. Okay. And I went from there and took my talents to the skits. Okay. So it was a lot of people talking behind my back. And I heard what y'all said. But let me tell you something. I heard There's you. There's a writer strike. I heard you, Reggie. <laughs> I heard, I, I listen, man. I they, seen you in the they comments. They told what y'all said. I heard what but you said about my teeth. I don't keep nobody with it down. Mm -hmm. And I also know that I sometimes am ignorant as well on how things work. I at one point felt like, oh, these are just little skits. Mm -hmm. I was wrong, and y'all was wrong, and I forgive you. And if you're in Atlanta and you want a job, I'll let you. Hey, I'm hollering Get up, Mike Bush. I'm hollering you. I know, I we'll want a job. We'll I can get a job, uh, husband, yeah. <laughs> at this point. <laughs> show him the toes. You want to show him? Oh, no, he's getting these toes. He's going to get, get all 10 of these. Oh, you hear okay, he's going to get all the toes. Oh, there it is. It's real. Thank you so much. Much for Thank coming you. on Skid Guys, my guys. Heck yeah, yeah, yeah. Real, man. Appreciate y'all. Y'all make sure y'all comment your favorite skits with Mike Bless. Yeah. What you want to see coming next from Mike Bless. Who you want to see come back yep. here on Skit Guys. We need you to comment that below. Did you have a good time? I had an amazing time. It was a I great mean, show. This was this a great show. Was it was informative. It was informative. We found out that yeah. James Evans actually died of a heart attack. Of a heart attack. That's crazy. After the accident. That's crazy. And that's that wasn't in the trivia. That's in the well, that, that I, I comedy. We're gonna edit that. I knew that because <laughs> yeah. comedy, how you get all the behind the scene. Like, yeah. I gonna lie. I really genuinely like. For, I ain't just saying because I'm here. Yeah. Like, so when Jordan hit me up and told me comedy hype, I kind of wasn't responding, but I didn't know it was this comedy hype. Yo, oh. I was like, man, who did, I swear to God, I was like, man, who using these people stuff? Man, come on, but that ain't yeah. cool. Right, right. And, and then when I seen John, I was like, oh, damn, this is a, It's like the real. I was a lion, like, hey, I didn't see this email. <laughs> um, Forgive my delayed see, John response. John thinking that people be playing on. <laughs> no, bro, this is like. Pe people love, uh, hey. I really. We love it. I'm not, like, I'm not, when I met John for the first time, and I heard that voice, it was like, hi. Right. I was like, this is John. That nigga sound familiar. Yeah. It's funny because it's true. Because he's just Coffee a boy. Yeah. John. I, mean, uh, I was like, uh, it's kind of like a Morgan Freeman a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Old ass Like voice. a younger Old Morgan ass Freeman. Ass but it didn't match his face. Never. Yeah. And like, talking about everything. It's an ashy like, voice. But like he himself. actually kind of sound fat. He like he said we, yeah, but he kind of sound yeah. like, yeah. like yeah. God. Then you meet him and he got his like arms out and a vest. Like God, some of I was these. like, "Well, you yeah. come," and I tried to be a groupie about it, but I was like, "Oh yeah, I watch it." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I oh yeah, like, a little comedy yeah. hype thing. I love comedy hype. I, I, mean, yeah. I love comedy hype. Well, we love I'm, that I'm, you I'm came a real on fan, here. So y'all have no. I mean, I'm genuinely, genuinely a fan. Like I watch all the stuff from to my Richard Richard Pryors, and because I because I love even though I'm a comedian, my passion. I love comedy. My parents we grew up watching it. Like them gangster people. Yeah. All we did watch. So just seeing it, but. Like seeing the behind the scenes of all the stuff that yeah. was going on is fire. 
So, we ever gonna get you on stage to do like some open mics or some? I done did some stage work now. You done did some work. Yeah, I had. How I, it? How cause it? I got I got tired of people trying me. It was real good sometimes. Okay, okay. all right. <laughs> Keep on working occasion. sometimes. On occasion, it'd be good. <laughs> Cause when it get bad, it gets, it gets remember, lonely hey, hell day. Before we let, wait, you it remember your lonely. first bomb? Hell yeah. What if, yeah, tell us that first my bomb. first bomb, okay, and see, this is what happened to me. <laughs> the problem is, I was tricked because Wayne was like, come on tour with me. I was like, man, I can't tell him to He said, just come. So the fans tricked me to think I was good because they was fans of me from the skits. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Wayne like, go out there and just walk out there. I was like, all right. So I get to the oh, walking out and the fans like, like, did they go crazy? I'm like, oh shit. And I tell two, three jokes, they kind of laugh. I'm like, okay. And I'm watching Jordan the way. I'm like, man, this is I easy. I can do this. These are my boys. Like, oh, they set you up I'll so I'll be bad. with them. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go home. And then I came back to Atlanta. And I was like, let me, I, I hit a little small room and it was cracking up. But I knew the people a little bit. Yeah, you knew what it was. So I'm like, I'm good. I'm a comedian. You, I'm a comedian. Ring, you, had, you had a ringer. You had a ringer, a ringer set, right? There. So I was doing good. And then I went to this one spot. You know, you, you know, these little small rooms are like, they're not there for comedy for real. Yeah. yeah. They eat weed. They were like, they literally out? trying they to get drunk. It was exactly. my birthday. Yeah. And I'm, I'm in there, and I'm waiting and watching people bomb. I'm like, <laughs> wait till they get a load of me. Wait till I get up there, boy. <laughs> I'm going to tear this thing up. <laughs> should I start I'm blow with this back? The, should I start <laughs> with the closer or what should I end You know what? I'm going to probably get them wind up one or two of my new ones. Should I hit them with it? Like, <laughs> I got you started coming to stay, Mike. I'm like, yeah. I'm back. I'm back. Did you put your tea down? Did you put your tea down? Yeah, man. Said, <laughs> I'm bombing so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bad thing is like, it wasn't no ending. This is just like quiet. Ooh. And I was trying to laugh and jump like, yeah. you know somebody bomb? They be like, <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. How y'all feel tonight? Y'all feel tonight? Y'all feel tonight? Y'all feel tonight? Man, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I see you else? eating yeah. the chicken. Okay, yeah. save me some. Yeah. And the bad up. thing is, when I came out, th that table threw me off. But everybody was like, oh, it's Mike from the skid. They were like, ah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> y'all good? Yeah. And then it was like, the girl said something to me. She said, oh, no, she said, She's like, it's giving Dave Chappelle. Wait, Tell she, some jokes. Ooh. She said, it's giving. I, you have, I like Dave Chappelle. You know you done messed and up. And we're able to have that long of a line while you're doing a set. Because I was just, there's a lot of dead I'm spaces. I'm a storyteller. Y'all see that yeah, today. We saw, okay. We saw, but she didn't let we me saw. get to the good part of the story. Right. So now I'm trying to tell jokes. Quickly. Oh, and it's just work. all bad. And it just I started still away in the Jordan well, joke. Like, we gonna keep it. we gonna keep working at that. <laughs> big up, big up to uh I see people still. JJ. Yeah. I was like, man. See what happens. Setting you up a failure like that. See what Sorry, Jordan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How many people here over 40? <laughs> but to get into it. Whole set. Joe's ain't even fitting me. <laughs> well, you know, look, people say I look like JJ. You know, die on my no, Hold on. Just, Keep this. We got to talk more about this. But again, thank you so much oh, for coming go. to Skid, oh, guys. We are, we're, we're wrapped up here. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> thank you for so much for coming to Skid, guys. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Skid, guys. That's S-K-I-T-G-O-D. Z is in Zulu. I'm your girl, T. Sanders. And I am the Marcus Harvey. You can follow me at the Marcus Harvey. On Instagram and all those we platforms. Never plug, plug ourselves. But that's what we're doing now. Follow us at, at T Sanders Comedy. Yeah. That's T E E Sanders Comedy. Yeah, and Mike, tell them where they can find oh, you. Oh, and I'm new, the newest member on yeah. the production. Uh, okay, it's kind of a little bit. Uh, uh, my name is Mike Bless, B L E S S. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Mike Bless. You can find me on Facebook, Mike Bless. Mm -hmm. You can see me in the country Wayne kids doing my thing, writing, producing. Kings like, of Joe Bird. Kings of Joe Bird, Dead City dropping. I mean, Come I try to catch it. Like, Come on, get, get oh, go ahead and put a plug like, yeah, man, man. Play shot, play shot, play shot. Y'all you know? make sure y'all come back, That's man. We'll holler at y'all, man. Peace. Skit, girl. Skit, girl. Let's get up out of here.